Hey guys, it's Joanna from Nesting Story, and this video is going to be all about our basement. Now, <laughs> I don't know, but I think, I think we might be getting into our basement, kind of, on Sunday. It's Friday now. So, to catch you up, if you didn't see the last vlog, our, we had to fire our contractor. He was never showing up. It's been a, such an ordeal. This has been going on since June. It's now December. My brother-in-law, my sister's boyfriend, is has nicely stepped in and is helping us take it across the finish line. So let's just go check in on his progress and we'll see where we are with the basement. Okay, let's see. You look like such a retro like painter in that hat and outfit. <laughs> oh yeah, the hat, I forgot about the hat. <laughs> this is Matt. Hello. He's just starting, what is it called? Like a carpentry company, basically? Uh, yeah. Custom carpentry Woodworking. company. Woodworking. Woodworking. I think he's even gonna launch a YouTube channel soon. Anyways, I'm gonna link it below his Instagram. You don't have a website yet, right? Not yet. It's oh, coming. Soon. It's coming. He's priming the basement. Is sanding done? Or at least in this area, right? Uh, yeah. I might go up and touch a few more spots since like, I can see it. Yeah. Uh, it looks pretty good. It looks really good. There's our Matree shiplap wall. So what do you think? I wonder... The goal is to get somewhat down here by Sunday. Tomorrow we're painting. Okay, it's Saturday morning, and last night we worked crazy hard and crazy late to get the basement ready to paint today. So we're gonna have a quick cleanup today, just vacuum the floors, and then we're gonna paint, and we're gonna be down here by tomorrow. Um, I want to mention that this shiplap is from a tree, so are the doors. They did give us this product, so I'm always very, very transparent with you guys. So I don't know if this is considered a sponsored video, but we did partner with Matree on this. We actually, just full transparency, we found these products first and reached out to Matree because we love them so much and they were kind enough to give us the shiplap and the doors and stuff. We had actually gone to a bunch of, um, hardware type places, home improvement places, and asked them about shiplap for a couple months. And a lot of the people who worked there didn't even, hadn't even heard of shiplap. And then finally we found a tree and we fell in love with um, this bigger shiplap and because it's such a big wall, it'll give you a better idea of like how it helps the space. So this is such a monster wall and we didn't just want it to be like plain white. We wanted to add texture. So that's why we wanted to do a shiplap wall here. So built-ins going there, a built-ins going over there. That will take a while. We're gonna get a reclaimed sliding barn door there. Today we're going to paint. Um, and then tonight, I think, we're gonna pull up the paper all in this area and have access to the basement. Move down here tomorrow. The laundry room and bedroom, we haven't even sanded and primed. We're gonna do that after everyone's down here. We had to start breaking it up or else we'd never get down here. Okay, it's happening. We're painting. Let's get it done. Oh, show me how to do a practice one. Yeah. Are we doing a painting lesson? Yeah. They're getting the wall where we know there's the built in going, so for practice wall. Whoa, that looks so good, Bo. Good job. Okay, team, let's do this. Okay, we hit our deadline. We painted this whole, we're not, not the ship lap, but all the rest so that the paper can come up tonight after the kids go to bed and we can release the toys. Mike is also starting to put the lights actually into the ceiling, which is nice. I have yet to. You have war paint right now. I have yet to do this. Yeah, he's gonna take the plastic up. Ooh, that's satisfying. Okay, kids are in bed. We are exhausted. I think like every part of me hurts, especially like my hip and my leg. But anyways, it's the moment of truth. We are going to be pulling up the paper just after Mike finishes with the lights. So let's go check out these fancy lights Mike got from the basement. Okay, Mike's putting the lights in. Fancy lights. Where did you get them from? From Lighthouse. Lighthouse, where's that? Lighthouse in Concord. Oh, cool. 
Yeah. And they're, they're they're LED and they're, they're thin, right? They're LED. They're only nine watt, and they're bright as all can be, and they're thin. So look how thin they're. Yeah. They fit so they're within thin. the thickness of the drywall. So like this one, I have a duct right in the way, so I wouldn't be able to put a normal pot light in. Yeah. Right. No normal pot light because a duct is in the way. Mm. But these, it's gonna be plastic unwrapping. I'm gonna put these on a dimmer because right now it's like so bright. <laughs> actually, it makes a difference with them I actually pointing see. down instead of pointing sideways. So there's like a little transformer that you pre-wire and you put up there, which was nice. Make things easy. I can wire them all before we drive all. And then Ta-da! Who else no. finds it funny that no, he doesn't have to see. stand on a ladder to do that? <laughs> yes, show you. <laughs> Reno is the name. R E N O is the manufacturer. They're they're awesome. I did. I got them out. I negotiated yeah. oh, that yeah. tiny little door. Yeah. It's tiny. Look, I'll give them perspective. I'm five foot two. You can't even fit we in that door. We have a door that comes up to here that's going to slide. There's going to be a lot of Yeah. Well, there's some room in there. We can store some more junk. I know. That's what I mean, I'm no. Purge, purge, purge. Yeah, I'm going to do way more purging. I point out all the toys. I'm like, they have too many toys. So this is the night before the semi big reveal so the kids can come down we're missing baseboards yeah. we know that these wires are not live don't worry they're not live oh we have light switches i'm going to show them the fancy dancy light switches it's all off just those ones so the movie the movie's on well it's like a runway <laughs> And someone wants to watch a movie. Other kids can play here. Someone can watch a movie. But the projector can be on that screen. When it is there, just imagine there's a screen there. Yep. Oh, Coolio. Get rid of more toys. <laughs> it's like a lot of toys. All right. Looks Let's good. Go floors. Go. Floors. We see floors. Oh. Doors are shut. Knee trim. Need some Hallway. Time. All right. Time for bed. Yes. Okay. Everyone's awake. Look at their feet. Look at their feet. They're all waiting anxiously Hello. to go to the basement. So let's reveal the basement to the kids. Wow! Hey, you got a little toy show. Come on. Come on. Nope. Don't go in there, Bo. Bo, don't go in there. Yay!
That has a hard face. Do you want it? Yeah, do you want it? Ninja Mario. Mario. It is now Tuesday and we have the toys down here and we have furniture down here. I'm gonna show you where we are right now and it's still totally a work in progress. Like we need built-ins, we've got audio stuff and video stuff just sitting on boxes. This is gonna be a long process, but I kind of love that it is. Like I am loving working on this basement ourselves. I actually found so much joy last weekend working away at it crazy exhausted but mentally it was so good for me to just take control and i enjoyed it so yeah i'm actually really excited for the whole process i'm excited to fill in the holes in that and paint the ship lap i'm excited to put the hardware on the doors and paint those and like and i want to start learning how to do more of these diy things myself so let me show you what we've got down here and then this basement will be to be continued there's a couple toys over here but the Table made it down here. We still need a rug and I've decided remember the pillows I got these are the ones that made the cut I really like those so we definitely need more I'm thinking some jade colored pillows some bigger ones some solid colors, but um, The other ones I bought didn't work, but these definitely did plus they're durable I always am thinking about that with the kids like I don't think these are gonna get destroyed and I think they'll hide dirt pretty well with the kids So that's where we are with our basement Projector is also up. It is not working yet. Mike can't get the speakers to work. We haven't had a lot of time to work on it as well. Things like the ceiling need to be repainted because we slapped on one coat and it's obviously not enough, but we're fine with it. I will keep you guys totally updated on this progress. Um, it has been such a game changer. Like, you have no idea. The kids have been happier than they've been in a long time. Our, me and Everly, our twins, have been falling asleep right when we put them to bed. They're exhausted because they're just like not watching TV all the time. They're playing constantly. It's been good for everybody. I've been able to keep upstairs clean. So if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. And if you have subscribed, thank you so much. It means so much to all of us. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.